Welcome to highlights of uh, World Series game number four in this 95-96 competition. This game is at the SCG and it's between Australia and Sri Lanka, the two unbeaten sides in the competition to date. This is the way the points table looks. The Australians, four points and 1.49 is a net run rate, which is pretty good. Sri Lanka, two points. They've only played the one game. That was where they beat the West Indies and a net run rate of 0.38. And West Indies have played three, have no points, and they have a minus against their net run rate of uh, 1.15. Now the two teams for this clash, Mark Taylor the skipper for Australia, then Slater, Mark Waugh, Ponting, Law, Bevan, Lee, Healy, Warren, Kasperwitz and McGrath comes back into the side. McDermott is going to carry the drinks today. He's not been dropped, he's just being rested. And for Sri Lanka, Mahanama, Jaya Saria, Guru Singer, Aravinda De Silva who needs runs today, Arjuna Ranatunga who's in pretty good form, Tilakaratna we know he's in good form because he's 100 in the test match over in Perth. Then uh, Kalavitarana, Damasena, Vas, Vikramasinghe and uh, Murli Diran with Apashanta as the 12th man. Well, conditions were very good. Sri Lanka won the toss and decided to bat. It looked an excellent pitch. Tony Gregg uh, reckoned to be something around about the 240 mark for the team batting second to chase. And we're going to join it now in the first over. It's no wicket for one. Glenn McGrath is the bowler. He's bowling to Jay Saria. Your commentators are Greg Chappell and Bill Laurie. That's excellent running. They're going to be tested. That's beautifully done. They took on Mark Waugh. Did it easily. Well, it's a good positive start. It shows they've got some confidence in themselves. Good backing up. Good understanding. They were both off very quickly. And it just shows you it doesn't matter how good the fielder. Michael Kipsowitz to take up the attack from the members' end. Nicely played. Superbly played. That's going to be four. Four runs off the over. Good start by Sri Lanka. The no wicket for seven. Gra continues. It's well run. He's in with a chance to be hit. He's got him. I'm sure he's got him, yes. Ponting coming in from square leg. A direct hit. The ball went too quickly. He was in. He had the one stump to hit on the angle and he got it dead centre. Well, the Sri Lankans showed they were keen to run. Just a slight hesitation. Ricky Ponding very quickly onto it. It is a direct hit. Daryl Harper at square leg doesn't even need to go to the third umpire. He wasn't even in the frame. Brilliant fielding. And a great breakthrough for Australia. Sri Lanka, one for seven. Thank you, Guru Singer. Comes out. At one for seven. There's a good strike rate of 61.3. Top order batsman. Good shot. Better than that. That's a great shot. Two bounces into the fence. Straight over cover. Well, that's Joe Saria's trademark. If it's up there, he's prepared to go over the top. The timing brilliant. The choice of shot impeccable. He waited, saw the ball was up. Just too full from Michael Kasperwitz. He didn't bother about hitting it on the ground. He just got the left hand into it and got it up and over the infield. Two bounces into the fence. Oops, Guru Singer, lucky there. He didn't know where that was. He was late on the defensive jab and almost bounced back into the stumps. It's gone again. Well played. It's bringing the crowd to its feet. It may not go all the way. It's running down the hill. We can't find it. He's running around in circles like a young puppy. They pick up three. It's one for 17. It's gone again. Beautiful. Lovely to watch. This is very good batting. Again, the length's not quite right. Gaius Saria just hits through the ball. Timing was beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Straight down the ground of line. It's going long. It stops again. The outfit a bit slow. That's four. Wonderful batting. Well, this is very audacious stuff, and everyone's enjoying it. Not only the Sri Lankan supporters, even the Australians really appreciating the courage of this man. 
to take the Australian bowlers on. He's decided that Michael Kasperwich has got to go. If he's short, he goes over the top. If he's long, he goes over the top. And Michael Taylor's got to be a little bit concerned. Mark Taylor even. No ball, and there he goes again. That's four more. Kapsiewicz, welcome to international cricket. Gone, he's out. If you look at him, one to lose. Smashes to the wider one. Got an edge, straight through to Healy. That's bad luck for us. We're anchoring the crowd here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Our viewers at home. The end of his final innings. Well, it was a fine little innings, and it's uh, more good fortune than anything else for the Australians here, because it wasn't a particularly good delivery. It was short and wide, but again, that little bit of bounce this time worked in favour of the bowler. There's a thick edge, and Glenn McGrath is very happy to get that wicket, and no doubt his captain, Mark Taylor, will also be pleased. It's a disappointment for Sri Lanka, and they're now two for 32. Vindra de Silva, the new batsman, have a look at his strike rate, 80.9, so that's very good indeed, he has an average of just over 31. That's well fielded, the Mark War doing his stuff again as the fielder, he's uh, really superb in that mid-wicket position, this is an example of it, have a look at him go here, certainly safe one and that's a good shot, beautifully placed. Beat Mark War that time and timed well enough to go straight to the fence. So this is a good shot. Just over pitch outside off stump and really lands into that the silver. And he does it again. This time a little bit squarer. And really putting back the ball now so as into the silver McGrath. Pitching outside off stump and those flags are celebrating. Two in a row. Sri Lanka, two for 47 from 11 overs. But they're keeping up this pace of just over four and over. New bowler is going to be Shane Lee. A good shot again. Magnificently played. That wide delivery again. And once again, crashing it to the offside field. Well, I, I'm sure that he would have preferred four to one. This would have been a wide. But he had an extra three runs by hitting it really hard to the extra cover region. And through this gap on the offside again, it was uppishly played, which forced the fielder forward. And what timing that was. Almost to the fence for four. The leg spin of Shane Ball. Oh! That's the top spinner. Looks to me as though he's uh, just trying to guide him around. In fact, on that occasion, just lifted the toe. I think mainly because he didn't pick it. He played for the leg spin, and it was the top spinner. That's a good shot. He's running a little faster than it did during the test match. It's two for 79. On a current affair. The land of the giants. They are the biggest in the world. The king was so big, he lost 70 kilos. I feel better. Now he's ordered his people to follow suit. You would need to lose uh, 57. Tonight, 6.30. Michael Bolton, one of the finest voices of our time, celebrates a decade of brilliant music with greatest hits, 1985 to 1995. Featuring 12 essential hits plus 5 new songs, including Can I Touch You There? Can I touch you, man? And the brand new hit single of Love So Beautiful. Love so beautiful. Michael Bolton, greatest hits, the ultimate collection.
the city of lost children. Pure visual excitement. With 95 ticking to a close, Brescia Furniture is holding a six-day sale with massive savings on its entire range of imported Italian leather lounges, dining settings, bedroom ensembles and more. N95 in style at the Brescia six-day sale. It starts Boxing Day. This week, McCallum Scotch, $17.99, Jack Daniels, $29.99, Carrington Champagne, $4.99, Dewey's Extra Dry, $27.99 for Christmas savings. A new trader in town. Who are you? Your competition. Reveals the rampant racism. These people kill Jesus. That is not true. Testing times. You are not going to do business in my town. On Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, 7.30 tonight. We were seeing how with his first boundary has moved to 18. Aravinda De Silva on 30. That's well fielded. Kastrovitz at mid on. An excellent dive. That ball was travelling pretty quickly. It was hit off the middle of the bat. He's a good fielder, Michael Kasperwitz. He's been bowling well this year. Picking up a lot of wickets. That's excellent. That's a good shot. Picked the length very quickly. It wasn't all that short, but he was into position and hit it right off the middle. It's 2 for 89. Mark Waugh will come into the attack from the Randwick end. He'll be bowling his right arm off spin bowlers. Short. And that's a good shot into the wide open gap at mid-wicket just the one fieldsman inside the circle Ricky Ponding at mid-wicket the singer went well over the top of him and picked the gap between the two fielders out on the boundary this time he's going after him down the ground didn't quite get the full face of the bat but it's good enough then McGrath can't make it across from mid on Stuart Law was the fieldsman at mid off who tried to cut it off the Sri Lankans being very aggressive he's not done the ball that well there's more there now he went after him followed through and got the desired result not allowing the balls to take, to, to take the turns at all this time it's full and it's left back past Shane Warne time Ben McGrath can get across and it's a good piece of fielding from him. It went past Shane Wall in the fall but it was going much too hard for him. Bill Singer looking like he wants to get after him. Yes, he looked in the run rate. He threw it up, it was there, he went down, got on the fall, didn't hit the cross bat, hit it straight. He'd gone through mid-wicket but hit straight down the ground. A good save by the big fast bowler. They do field well. And 100 coming off 142 balls and that run rate really starting to climb now. They've got it up to 4.25. We've got Michael Bevan coming on from the Paddington end to bowl his left arm wrist spin. That's out. Well caught. Mark War in the covers. Well, that is a breakthrough that uh, will surprise many. But it was the bounce that Bill was talking about that brought about this dismissal. It was short. Gura Singer went back to smash him away on the offside. The extra bit of bounce made him hold back on it. And Mark War did the rest. Let's get the ball to bounce. I didn't bounce as much as some do on other pitches, but it was enough to force the batsman to make an error. Brilliant change by Captain Mark Taylor. Prepared to gamble. Bevan in form, a very confident cricketer. Here is a good 38. Well played. It's ranked a 3 for 110. Arjuna Ranatunga, the Sri Lankan captain, comes out to join Ravinda De Silva. Put on 78 for the third wicket. Now they need another partnership in this middle order. And here's trouble. It's hit. He's gone. Well, really dangerous stuff. Ricky Ponding again. The fieldsman squared the wicket on the offside. Made very fast ground. If he hit the stumps on this throw, it would have been the sec second direct hit and the second run out of the innings. Yes, he had a good look at three stumps this time. It's just unfortunate it wasn't a full throw. He could have got it and took the bowls off as well. He was that far out. Mark War continuing his off spinners. Aravinda De Silva just runs it fine. Stuart Law. 
That's a good start for this over. Sri Lankans need to keep this run rate going. Michael Bevan starts again with the full toss. Ricky Ponting can't get across. They'll be looking for two. And they'll go back. A good throw. And he's home comfortably. But the Silver was always looking for two. Ranatunga wasn't quite so sure. That's his 50. It's a good 50 as well. Coming 75 balls. And it's been a wonderful innings for the Sri Lankans. And so far, they've done uh, quite a good job in getting through the overs quickly and having 34 runs taken from them. Well, he's going to fast for that. There's a bit of loping going on there. The skipper, Arjuna Ranatunga, wasn't uh, putting in any long strides in. I reckon his history. Let's see. Marie Plow will tell the story. He doesn't look very happy. He's met his partner in the middle. He's not going off the ground. Normally you have a few no. Well, here goes the throw. He's looking over his shoulder at this stage. And there it goes, and it's gone past him. He's run out of the way of the ball, which was a mistake in the first instance. He had to drag it back, and... Well, I think he's gone. I think he's just short. He is history, I'm afraid. And the red light shows it. Dab Whatmore might have them fielding like Trojans or Sri Lankan Trojans, but he needs to exercise their minds and they're running between the wickets. Don't look back. It's 4 for 133. Ashan Tilakaratna is the new batsman. 28 having a good run at the moment. That's a good stroke for four. Wasn't all that short, but he played it well. He's in form, made the hundred in Perth in the test match. And uh, started off nicely here. That's frustrating for the bowler. But the outfield is fast. He's going to beat the field at. It's a good indication of... Uh, just how fast it is and the silver has picked up another bat good over for Sri Lanka 13 runs from it 4 for 151 he's got to go that one he's pulled that one away beautifully it's running away to the Medipa wicket fence and it's 4 well, he had a lot of time, it was short, and he hit it beautifully. Well, he's hit it into the gap beautifully. It was just a little bit wide, gave the batsman a little bit of room, and the silver has got it away through the gap for three. And we'll see a change now in the centre, Glenn McGraw. Oh, inside edge and past the stumps. That was a bit lucky. It'll go for 4-2. Yes, it will. It's beaten the man down the fence. Now that's his second boundary, but it was just a little bit lucky. McGraw can't believe it. He's standing in the middle of the pitch with his hands on his hips. Six wickets in hand, 13 overs to be bowled, and two batsmen who are set. Shane Lee comes into the attack from the member's end. takes a vital wicket just trying to glide it down through the gully it stayed on line i think it hit the handle went straight back to the bowler well not the way you expect this to happen it is a glove actually it cut back appreciably and shane lee bowled an excellent ball in the end but it cut back into the right hander hit the glove easy return catch a vital blow for australia five for 172 all new Saturday night comedy on Channel 9. Cool. 6.30, it's three girls and a baby. Oh my God, it's green. Step by step, then at 7, Mr. Cooper goes back to school. I'm not agree with the principal. 7 30, say the magic word. Hey, Mom. And dive into a Christmas wave of laughs with Phenom. What were you thinking? That the door was open. And at 8 o'clock, the laughs continue. Come on up and give lucky a hug. Me and the boys. It's a festive bundle of belly laughs from 6.30 Saturday night on 9. 
Any copies of Braveheart, we guarantee it. Get it first time or get it free. Can't we have our own? Video is it more movies to entertain me. But they'll never pick me. Oh, freedom! Get it first time or get it free. Video easy. Braveheart guaranteed. It's another reason why. The choice is easy. This year, why not give someone a Brown Christmas with the Brown Album from Martin Malloy. That's very foolish. We've managed to squeeze over two hours of Martin Malloy into one very brown package. It's two CDs or cassettes for the price of one. I see. And how much would you expect to pay? Deadly. <laughs> Deadly. The Brown Album from Martin Malloy. I mean, it's not exactly the money of the box, is it? Out now through Mushroom Records. It's Big Christmas Value Time at McDonald's. Get your kids a genuine Disney doll and a cassette of Disney's greatest hits for just $7.95. That's over $30 value for just $7.95. Choose from four of your Disney favorites, but only while stocks last. So many copies of Braveheart, we guarantee it. Get it first time or get it free. It's another reason why... Remember, Cavalu Arana coming in with a strike rate of 82.8. Crew average of only 11, but he's a good strike with the ball. Got him over. Beautiful delivery. Too quick. Back goes the start. Australia getting on top here. After a very good start by Sri Lanka. Highly intelligent bowling here by Kasovic. Straight. Fast. That shows confidence. Coming in to the right hand has actually swung in appreciably and completely over it. And this Sri Lankan wicket keeper bowl. That's six wicket down for 174. And batsman Darren Messina with a very good average. 35 and a fair strike rate of 62. Big shout, maybe just outside the line. Very good delivery. This one was certainly worth a shout. Perhaps a little bit high going down leg. Well played. Never go all the way for four. That's what they needed, a boundary. It's a very good player to a It was off the middle of the bat. Six for one, nine, six. Oh, a shot. Beautifully placed in time. That'll go down the hill. Brings up the 200. Good effort by Sri Lanka, 6 for 200 and a 43rd over. They're well placed. Oh, there's a chance, Mark Roy's backing up. Oh, the throw was wide. And Mark Roy was onto it. Katsowitz couldn't get back behind the stumps. Needed a direct hit. They certainly did not look a run, because Koratna did not have any intention of running. Looking at the ball. Damasena would have been stranded by a long way. And uh, trouble here, Mark War. Once again, he's into the action and hesitation between the two Sri Lankans has been costly. Well, in the end, our end it could be the runouts that caused the uh, Sri Lankans to lose this game. They played pretty well in... Uh, some good partnerships, but again we see some hesitation until the Karatna is off. And Asana backing up, but when you send him back, it's always good night. Shane Lee takes the ball in front of the stumps, but he always knew where the stumps were. Mark War, all he tried to do was get it to the bowler. Good cricket by the Australians. Disappointing for the Sri Lankans. And that's another run out for them. Seven for 202. Chaminda Vass is the new batsman. Quite a reasonable average. A 
once again Tilla Karatna playing uh, Shane Warne well. That's good running from the bowler. As soon as he saw the misfield, Chaminda Vas was back for the second. And getting some applause from his partner there. Good cricket. It is good cricket because it puts Tilla Karatna back on strike. I think that's what he'd be applauding. Just a fumble. That's all it takes. This time Mark Four can't get there. And it crashes into the advertising hoardings. Well, bother with the ground this time up and over Mark War he reckoned it was pretty hard getting it past him on the ground so we'll go over the top and McGrath out to bowl his ninth over and be Shane Lee it's a little bit quicker down in that corner but Lee will just drag it back and they've got uh, Tilakaratni back on strike, although Chaminda Bass is striking the ball pretty well. And there's the 50 for Tilakaratni. Well deserved, well played. Very well played indeed. It's been a wonderful innings from him. Brings up his 50 and 56 balls, and that gives you an indication of just how well he's played. And that's away. Could well go to the boundary. Everything going uh, right for Sri Lanka. Four leg buys. At seven for 237. Now we're having the runner come out for Chaminda Vas. Jaya Saria, who played uh, in such an exciting fashion at the start of the innings. Just wide of Shane Warne. That's a very good piece of fielding and he's out. runner has been thrown out. Well, Ricky Ponting started the innings off with a direct hit. Full toss from Shane Warne. Ricky Ponting down on the boundary picks up one movement. Direct hit as he did early in the innings to run out Mahanama. Jaya Saria is out there only for a few balls to run for Traminda Vaas. He's out for 14. Ricky Ponding, the man doing the damage, 7 for 238. Vikram Singer is the new batsman. And once again, an example of the placement from Tilla Karatni, and even the uh, despairing dive can't haul it back. Six boundaries now for the Sri Lankan left-hander. Just the one over to come. And Mark War, once again, he's into the action. A very good change of pace there from McGrath. And he had uh, Tillakaratni searching for it. Tillakaratni standing there, but uh, in fact, the umpire is saying that it bounced. Mark War didn't, obviously didn't think it had, but the umpire thinks it bounced. And McGrath bowls the slower ball. It was very wide, and he's hit it straight into the ground. It's a bump ball, a very good decision there by umpire Harper. Magnificent bit of fielding there by Mark War, But the ball, in fact, was hit straight into the ground. Once again, they'll pick up two. So the uh, 250 is posted for Sri Lanka. This is going to be a difficult uh, chase for the Australians. Chance here at mid-on, Shane Lee, and he takes it. So Tilla Karatni is out, but not before he's done a lot of damage. That's an excellent innings from the Sri Lankan left-hander. He was involved in some good partnerships with the tail. In the end, he sacrifices, try to stretch their total as far as possible, Shane Lee finally takes the catch, Glenn McGrath gets the wicket that he 
deserved earlier in the over. Much deserved round of applause. A wonderful innings of 62. The litter and the final batsman coming out to join Vikrama Singer for the last ball. And again, it was the slower ball that did the damage. Vikrama Singer just gets enough bat on it to pick up two. And they can be proud of the way they played Sri Lanka. 254 is the total they've posted. 255 the Australians need at 5.10 per over. And uh, we'll be back at the SCG to see this run chase. Sunday, the world-renowned Cousteau expedition comes down under and reveal to the world the oldest land on Earth. A reef that lived before reptiles or marine mammals even existed. Cousteau's Australia, and our world premiere, 6.30 Sunday on 9. I'm Rod Marsh, and welcome to the first of the series of The Complete Cricketer. Never before has a video series been as practical and helpful as The Complete Cricketer. Now you can access the coaching and training programs used by the Commonwealth Bank Cricket Academy to take Australia to the top. Two of the greats, Shane Warne and Glenn McGrath, personally give you their tips and advice, from the technical to the tactical. Get the best out of your bowling with the Commonwealth Bank Cricket Academy's Complete Cricketer Bowling, yours to own on video. Daydream, 12 great new songs including One Sweet Day, Fantasy and many more to come. Mariah Carey, Daydream. Also available for the festive season, Mariah Carey's Merry Christmas. Two great albums, two perfect Christmas gifts. Television's funniest little black dog. Well, the of family Don't be dark. What Humphrey Bogart got that I ain't got? In an absolute rib tickler. <laughs> Daffy Duck's Quackbusters, 7.30 Sunday on 9. That was a terrific performance from the Sri Lankan batsmen. They did wonderfully well. And they've set 256 for the Australians to win. That's right, 256. It's not an optical illusion. The score now is 9 for 255. And Aravinda de Silva has gone to 75 from 74 and this is why the change was made by the umpires in the interval. Ricky Ponting was the fielder, we showed it to you early on, the extra run had to be added because that is a boundary rather than the three runs taken and it is 9 for 255. The fine performance, Mahanamo out for 5, Jair Suriya 24, he added the impetus at the start, then Guru Singh 38 got them going and De Silva played quite brilliantly for 75 from 93 but the uh, knock of the innings was 62 from 66 balls from Tillakaratna. Nine for 255, and the Australian bowling, well, they suffered. Uh, there's one excellent performance there, I thought. Shane Lee under pressure for the first time in this sort of match. Ten overs for 40. He's inexperienced, but he looked good out there today. So it's 256 at 5.1 per over for the Australians. That, I can promise you, is a big ask. Vikram Singer is uh, going to open the bowling. He'll be on at the southern or Rambuk end. Lovely stroke. Typical of the way Taylor's been batting recently. I'll pick up three for that. Chaminda Vars, the left arm pace bowler, is about to bowl from the northern or Paddington end. The dive 
was okay, but uh, it was a 5.4er. What happens when the dive goes astray is you get an extra run. Nice placement. There'll be at least three there. That's a good stroke. That's a lovely cover drive and a beautiful stroke of his pads there for Mark Taylor and Nunter Clark. and ducking but only one has been successful so far what about that yes he's gone Slater is out first wicket to go down 23 on the board for Australia it's a long, hard look from the batsman. Whether he was uh, catching or trying to avoid the captain's eye is another matter. I've been uh, offering a long, hard look to the umpire, but he's gone. Well, that's the perfect example of the bowler following up with a very good delivery after being smashed for four. And Michael Slater getting a thick edge there. Charminda Vass has got the breakthrough. And Sri Lanka are playing some very good cricket here. Have Australia one down. Mark War, the new batsman coming out to join his skipper. It's well played into the gap. It's running away over this fast outfield. Won't get to the fence though. They'll be looking for three and Mark War very quick back to the third. That's the uh, innings, and uh, you can see here the Australians. Having got off to a good start, just being slowed up a little bit now, scoring on average around about three and over. That's a good shot. Yes, it had to happen. Mark War's not about to let this uh, continue for too long. That brings up the 50 as well. He's gone after that one, hit it over the top of the mid on's head. And collected him three, himself three more. A Sanka Guru Singer. Well played, beautifully hit. He plays that shot very well indeed. That's the perfect pull shot. Darren pitched short to him. I think he was lining it up last over. I think Guru Singer will get the message here. Good shot again. Lovely drive through the offside. Racing across the outfield and for four. Well, Taylor realising that they just need to lift it a little bit. And he's responded by hitting two beautiful shots. So with the Australian captain taking the initiative out there, the Sri Lankan captain has decided to make a change and he's decided that he's the man for the moment. And again, Ranatunga much too short and down the leg side. Mark Ward doesn't miss those. Well, that's the ideal start for the Australians against the uh, Sri Lankan captain. Much too short. Again, short outside, off stump, and that's going away down to the fence. That'll be four. That's well played. Ball medium pace, you can't ball short. One for 77. And uh, it looks as if we're going to see some off spin out there now. Retire Murli Dillon. Sweeps it nice as a man deep. He's fine. That's good before. Six off the over. One for 83. It's been a tough year for a lot of people, but Christmas is a time for us to appreciate what we sometimes take for granted, our families. Each year, I spend Christmas Eve with my family, and a very special family it is too, sharing a couple of hours together, singing and celebrating, and loving every moment of it. So I hope your family can join mine for Carols by Candlelight. I can't think of a better way to spend Christmas Eve. Nine o'clock Sunday on Channel 9.
the city of lost children. Pure visual excitement. Here's the thunder. could win a share of the $200,000 prize giveaway at the AJC Summer Carnival, including $120,000 in cash, and 20 lucky punters will each win a $500 bet with the bookies. Imagine that, $500 on the nose. That's why it's better betting at Radwick. band in the UK today and their new album is rewriting rock and roll history Oasis what's the story morning glory don't wake up without it George's Electronics purveyors of personal portables. Panasonic Ghetto Blaster Hi-Fi with CD reduced to $239. Sony Walkman Fantastic Value $65.55 duty free. Only at George's Electronics and duty free. 387 George Street City. The Australian Cricket Tour of the West Indies in 1995 will be remembered as one of the great sporting events. Now you have the opportunity to own this unique pictorial record, the Champions. The player's own highlights will be yours too when you buy the Champions. After 18 overs, Sri Lanka's run rate is 4.0, Australia 5.11. So, the stage, Australia well ahead, just one wicket down. Chips it nicely over the top, brings up the 100. Good intelligent batting. With a new bowler, Damasena, now coming on to bowl right arm off spin. No, just short. Guy forward had the right idea, but threw him. Good effort by the fielders in the square leg. He knew he had to come forward. Hanama diving forward. It's half a chance. There it is. It's in the air. He dives. Didn't quite judge it. And there's 50 to Mark Taylor. Yes, that's very well played. And Mark Waugh follows with a, a half century. An excellent partnership. Mark Taylor going for the outfield. Yeah, another good shot from Mark Taylor. The mid-on was up. He only had one place he really could go, and that was over that area. And he hit it right in the middle of the bat. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Jaya Saria, the man who excited the crowd in the early part of the Sri Lankan innings, smashing balls over the infield. Chance at the bowler's end, and Mark Moore's in trouble. He's gone. So that is the breakthrough come about through another misunderstanding between Mark Taylor and Mark War. Let's have a look at it and see how far out he was. It, uh, hit the pad, went away on the offside. Taylor called for the run. War started. Here it comes. And uh, yes, well, it was out of right. And what a big wicket this is for Sri Lanka. War then turns around. He thinks that they've called for the replay. But uh, getting a standing ovation there from the crowd and the members. 55 or 69 balls, 2 for 131. Ricky Ponting, who had uh, such a tremendous afternoon in the field, threw the stumps down twice to produce a couple of runouts, and he comes in following a runout. Lee Duran has been switched to the southern end. Nice sweep there by Taylor. We run away for four, and it does. I've run that over. Two for 148. Safe. Moment of uh, fluttering heartbeats there for Ricky Ponting. It looked for one moment, so it was a little chip over the top, but I think perhaps he wouldn't want it to go quite as close as that to mid-wicket. 
the big hit. Beautifully placed. Played it well. His judgment of stroke uh, has been excellent throughout this innings. Australia just ahead on the comparison. Two for 178. They have two wickets in hand of uh, Sri Lanka who are four for 170 at the same stage. That single brings up uh, the 50 partnership. Taylor on 84 now, punting 24. Let's flick that one away fine. They'll get two here, may even get three. Yes, there'll be three here. New bowling out of Vinda the Silva. Ricky Ponting getting, getting himself into a bit of a hole here. Trying to hit the ball, trying to hit the ball a bit too hard. They'll be looking for two. Mark Taylor wants to come back. He'll have to hurry. That's got to be close. He's called for the third umpire. The ball, when it landed, seemed to hold up just a little bit. And I think Mark Taylor might have just got there. Murray Duran was the thrower there, bounced into the ground. He had a bit the stumps, he was gone. I'll tell you what, that was brilliantly taken. I think he may just be out of his ground. Now then, let's have a look. We'll just have to come back one frame. Oh, yes, I think, I think that's it. It's all over. He's out. Well. And uh, as he goes, just a few words to Ricky Ponting. I think perhaps along the lines, don't do anything silly. Australia, three for 192. Seven thirty Monday, Corky has an affair. My head is spinning. Proving love is blind. It's probably so repulsed it's trying to twist itself off your body. And stupid. I would never make a play for another man's wife, especially if she's married. And at eight, the miniature Eddie. Eddie becomes a dad. All right, Eddie. Every dog has its day. Bad dog. But his days are numbered. It's a routine operation. They say it's almost painless, although I can't imagine. Frasier after Murphy Brown, eight o'clock Monday on nine. Are you ready to be part of the dance craze sweeping the country? Okay, we're ready for some dancing. Yeah. Australia's most highly regarded line dancing instructor, Cindy True Love, will teach you all the right moves and steps. You don't even have to leave home to join in the fun. With Cindy, boot scooting is easy, exciting, and great exercise for people of all ages. So get your boots on and get into Let's Boot Scoot 2. Available in special Christmas gift packs of video with CD or video with cassette from these leading retailers. Is the thunder They're racing They're big Win big And You could win a share of the $200,000 prize giveaway At the HAC Summer Carnival Including $120,000 in cash And 20 lucky punters Will each win a $500 bet with the bookies Imagine that $500 on the nose That's why it's better Betting at Randwick Better betting What you pick Win big And Randwick his career as a hitmaker has stretched across four decades. His live performances touch all age groups. Now, after four years, the long-awaited return of Neil Diamond. Good Lord! Neil Diamond in concert in the round from March 29 at the Entertainment Center. Book now. Tickets are selling fast. So Stuart Law is the new batsman. He's got a good uh, strike rate. Oh, and he's dropped it. Well, I don't think he picked that one up. Arjuna oh, Runatunga. Oh, this would have made such a difference. Right in there, that all-important mid-wicket position. It was just chipped to him. It uh, wasn't that quick. Apart from the batsman having trouble picking them up, 
The fielders also have trouble picking them up. It's well played. Just looking that one around the corner and back for the second. So that brings up the 200. Tremendous boss. Back into the attack. Back to the second. In comes the throw. Once again, they'll get two. And these twos really are useful. Tremendous boss, uh, since he's been brought back, has really slowed things up a bit. That's off the edge, it's flying away. Will it go for four? Yes, it has. Very useful. That's the first boundary in nine overs. Well, it's one of the problems for a bowler in this situation. The batsman has a dash. A full toss gets a thick outside edge. There's no slip fielder there. Got him, he's hit the stumps and that's out, run out. Well, the Sri Lankans desperately needed that. No one at the stumps. He had to hit and have a look at him. They're dancing in the aisles. Kumara Dharamasena. Let it go, he hit the stumps. And that's the end of Law. Law hit it very hard. A direct hit was always going to have him in trouble. He'd given up in the end. He knew that if it hits the he, uh, stumps, he's out. No hesitation, not even a decision required from the umpire. Stewie Lord giving himself out. The Sri Lankan flags are waving. Their hopes are soaring. Australia's still on top, though, at four for 212. Well, this Sydney crowd have just welcomed one of its heroes. Michael Bevan, a magnificent stroke player. He's also very quick between the wickets. Ideal man for these conditions. Buzz around the Sydney cricket ground. It's anybody's game. Australia would be slight favourites with six wickets in hand. Up in the air, surely this has got to be out. Falls in. Only one, two. That's close, that's close as well. He's got a call for the photo, that was very close. And I think as quick as Ponting is, he could be in trouble here. The throw is right next to the stumps, great throw. Well, he might have just got there. That Jove, he's quick. Tough one for the umpire. It's a line ball. Nails are off. Looks out on that one. He's got the benefit of the doubt. Well, that's pretty good umpiring by the third umpire. Very hard to say. Any benefit must go to the batsman. Just over the head. Swank and Captain could go for four. It's going to go for four. First boundary at the right time for Ricky Ponting, and this is a very important innings for this young man. See, that's a good shot. It only just cleared mid-wicket, but it was very well hit. And he whips down the final leg, just the single. This field! 50 to Ponting. Ricky Ponting making a 50 just at the right time, under enormous pressure. Beautiful time of the ball, Kevin. Just the single there, he's fired that back at 100 miles an hour. Good throw, that's fair enough. It's in the air. He's got him! He's got him! Yes! Good catch at long run. Off spinner to off spinner, and that's the catch they needed. And what a joyous moment for him. Threw it in the air, and it's a vital breakthrough. That's Maruli Duran has done a good job. Dived about in the field a lot on this tour. Made some good saves. And you see there, Daramasina sees uh, Ponting coming down the track. He fired it in short and quick. And uh, a little jump for joy after he takes the catch. Ponting is gone for 56. And the fifth Australian wicket is down. He can score at 239. Shane Lee makes his way to the centre of the Sydney cricket ground. The batsman crossed. Pointing out for a fine 56. That's the situation. Two overs remaining, 13 runs required. Got hold of it. Back with square leg. And get two more. Great running. Exciting cricket. One over 
to be bowled. Six runs required. You can get the wickets. You've got to get those six runs. Oh! Big shout for LB. Umpire Daryl Harper not moved. Pulls leg by. Well, that's one run. Straight down the line, just a single. Another one down to wrong arm. Just a single. Well, they've got men everywhere in the deep. I think they've got to be in now. Force them to go over the top. Too many gaps. It's in the air. It's high. It's going around, but that could be it. Crash, it goes into the fence. A beautiful stroke to end a magnificent match. Bevan using his feet, heading through the line. Crashed it into the fence over the long off. A wonderful victory, a big target, 256. And Australia did it in style. Yes, the Australians can be very pleased with that victory. And uh, a lot of the young players have performed well in pressure situations in this game. Shane Lee with the ball, Michael Bevan with the bat, Ricky Ponting with the bat. So they can be very pleased with that victory. What a brilliant performance from the Australians. Set 256 to win. They did it in style towards the end with Bevan hitting the winning runs, 18 from 16 balls. But uh, the scores up above that told the tale of how the Australians kept up with what was required. Taylor, 90 for him before he was run out. Slater out for 10 early on. And then Mark Waugh, 55, just as brilliant as usual. And Ricky Ponting, a top-class innings there, 56 from just 70 balls faced. And Bevan and Lee in at the end, 5 for 257. And uh, Sri Lanka's bowling, well, they had a lot of bowlers there. And uh, the only wickets taken were by Vass, who had uh, one for 50 and one for 41 for Durham Messina. Uh, the man of the match was the Australian captain, Mark Taylor. Very good leadership in the field. And then uh, he made that splendid 90 and uh, that won him the award. Quite a clear cut one too. And the points table for the Benson Hedges World Series. The Australians, three matches, six points, 1.01 the net run rate. Sri Lanka have two points from two games, and the West Indies no points from three games, a minus figure for the net run rate. Coming up, our next match on Wide World of Sports is the Benson Hedges Test Series game, the second test at the MCG. Australia against Sri Lanka. Boxing Day starts 26th to the 30th of December and commences each day, weather permitting, at 11 a.m. local time. Tickets available from Basso 3, 11522 or at the gate. We look forward to seeing you. At the Test Match, we hope that's uh, as exciting a game as the one we had here at the SCG today. Brilliant stuff here with Australia, the victors, three wins in three games. For the moment, it's goodbye. This has been another presentation from Nine's Wide World of Sports.